Cancer, welcome po sa Star Tarot. I hope you are doing well. Ito po ang inyong intuitive tarot reading for the week of July 11 to 17. Please keep in mind po ng reading na ito ay for the collective. So, maaring mag-resonate sa inyo at maaari ding hindi. Kung hindi po totally mag-resonate sa inyo, you may consider watching your moon, your rising, and your Venus signs. At baka nandoon na mensahe na para sa inyo. So just please take what resonates with your situation and leave what doesn't for someone else. Thank you. So let's call in your angels and your spirit guides to assist us throughout this reading. Thank you. So kuha tayo ng oracle cards muna. And we're going to look into the messages, guidance, inspiration, information, potential energies that are surrounding you for the week of July 11 to 17. Cancer. That's a lot. So, hindi natin kukunin yan. Cancer, please. Messages, guidance, information. Okay, yung first card is manifesting dreams and the affirmation that you may recite if you would like this my dreams are coming true so this is really really beautiful to start your reading cancer you are manifesting your dreams in the week ahead this is beautiful ang naririnig ko is bounty so maybe you are manifesting a bountiful life sa darating na week Okay, so your next card is coming into power and your money uh, affirmation is I step into my power boldly and confidently. So Cancer, you are stepping into your power in the week ahead or so. Ang pangyarihan over yourself is back into your life. You are claiming your power again. Parang in the past, Parang ginib up mo yung uh, power mo na yan sa ibang tao. You allowed people to dictate your life. And ngayon, you are rising above that situation. Hindi mo nahahayaang muli na ang ibang tao ang magdikta ng iyong buhay. Ngayon, you are stepping into your power. You are going to be the script writer of your own story this time. So, that is very beautiful. Maybe that is your dream na maging nubumalik sa iyong sarili ang kapangyarihan over yourself. And that is what you are manifesting as well. So, your next card is trusting your intuition. My life is truly guided. So, lahat ng nangyayari sa iyo, cancer, lalong-lalo na in the week ahead, is divinely orchestrated. So, lahat yan nakaline up. Nakaline up na sa, sa path mo ang magmanifest ka ng yung mga hopes and dreams. This is such a beautiful beginning para sa iyo. A bountiful life, a happier life, a more peaceful life. Kasi tignan mo ang image dito sa card. Very peaceful and yet bountiful. ba? So, I feel that that is what you are manifesting for some of you. And dito sa... Uh, trusting your intuition. This is a very important reminder for you, Cancer, na always tap into your intuition. Always listen and trust your intuition. Dahil that is your most reliable guide. Importanteng magbigay ka ng panahon for yourself, for solitude, so that you can connect with your soul, so that you can tap into your intuition and listen to what your intuition is telling you. Kasi yun, yun ang magiging guide mo as you navigate your life, lalong-lalo na ngayon na magsisimula kang uh, magpatakbo ng sarili mong buhay and at the same time, you are manifesting your hopes and dreams. So definitely, there is a new beginning occurring in your life dito. So this is bago sa'yo muli. 
and this is also bago for you so this is quite a bit na nahaharapin mo de ba sa sa yung buhay so this is definitely a fresh start for you and it's important na hindi ka ma overwhelm sa mga panibagong uh, pangyayari sa buhay mo so kailangan mong makinig sa iyong intuition at sundin ang sinasabi ng iyong inner guidance para hindi ka mawala sa sa track na na itong tatahakin mo for for this time That is such a gorgeous energy, Cancer. Let's take a look for more messages, guidance, information. Okay, should I take this? Yes. Okay, so I'll take this one. So we have number 20, Unamon card, Judgment. So I feel that you are rising above your situation, really. That is what's coming through here. It's a If I'm not mistaken, na sabi ko yung kanina with the coming into power, na you are rising above your situation this time. You are going to be successful sa iyong mission ngayon para sa buhay mo na i-reclaim ang iyong power, ang iyong authority over yourself. And yun. And at the same time, yung yung judgment card na ito ang sinasabi na... There is a rebirth here and truly because that is also a um a transformation happening here sa dalawang card na to and there is a rebirth somehow dito kasi parang panibagong buhay mo to eh. this is a transition uh, sa buhay mo. for some of you there is an important decision na gagawin mo ngayon yung parang there is uh something that came up ngayon na kailangan mong balikan ang iyong past because this may be an unresolved issues uh, from your past na na nagre-resurface uh, during this period so there is an important decision na gagawin mo na kailangan mong Resolve ba na ngayon ang mga unresolved issues of the past? Kasi ngayon na may nagre-resurface na, na events sa buhay mo ngayon which is related to unresolved issues. So, ngayon yung parang mapipilitan ka ng harapin yon Kasi uh, whatever that is na unresolved issues sa iyong past relationship or past experiences, not necessarily... Uh, sa iyong mga relationship dahil sa sakit o dahil sa hindi magandang pangyayari na yon binaon mo na lang siya binaon mo na lang sa limot without resolving the issue doon so ngayon you are going to decide na kailangan mo ng harapin yon kasi it is affecting your life ulit ngayon. So, parang there is a resurfacing of the same thing, same event sa buhay mo ngayon na nangyari na noon. So, ngayon, kailangan mo nang i-resolve yun. That is what's coming through. And for some of you, there is someone na maaaring bumalik sa inyo. Merong pagbabalik na, na magaganap. Not for all of you, only for some of you dito. It could be your former um, spouse. It could be your former boyfriend or girlfriend. So, someone from your past is coming back to to try to be part of your life again or to try to rekindle your relationship. So, ayun, malaking decision din yan. So, you have to follow your intuition there. Kasi malaking decision din yang gagawin mo kung makikipagbalikan ka or i-entertainin mo pa yung taong yun, it's up to you. But your, your advice here is to trust your intuition sa pagdedesisyon sa bagay na yan. Okay? And speaking of someone coming back, nandito si Knight of Cups. So, si Knight of Cups, is the most romantic night. So, maaaring yung magbabalik sa'yo, 
is this person because this one represents a new love interest sa sa sitwasyon na to this is a new love interest coming in so maaring meron kang panibagong uh, manliligaw maaring this is only for single out there na na walang commitment so there may be a new love interest coming in magpapakilala sa iyo or this could be someone na nakakilala mo ng dati na yung makikita mong muli mag mag tatry na mag express ng love sa iyo magpapakita ng pagcare sa iyo so it's up to you kung i-entertainin mo si Knight of Cups kung sino man tong uh, dadating sa iyo but this is a potential new love interest na mag mag express ng pag-ibig sa iyo. Very romantic tong taong to, very sweet. Gumagamit siya ng magic ng roses and love letters and chocolates, picnics. Someone is asking you for a dinner. Someone is asking you to hang out sa sa park or sa by the beach you know something like that this is very sweet person so yung next card mo ay two of wands so maaring um yung decision mo dito sa judgment card is yun din ang decision making na sinasabi sayo ng two of wands kasi si two of wands this is an energy of making decision then meron siyang mahalagang decision na gagawin and for some of you this could be linked to travel this could be linked to moving home this could be linked to moving abroad or to moving back home ang iba sa inyo nagpaplano ang iba ay nagpaplanong umuwi na ang iba ay nagpaplanong mag-abroad, mag-expand ng kanyang negosyo, mag-expand ng kanyang mga proyekto, or this could be a um, business and work-related decision na kailangan mo dito sa two of ones na to. You are making plans, Cancer. You are making plans of traveling dito is what's coming through but your information your details na kailangan mo para ikaw ay makapagbiyahe is not with you yet yun ang kulang yun ang kulang sa'yo ngayon so kaya hindi ka pa makapag um, make up ng iyong isip kaya hindi ka pa makapag decision ngayon but that could also be a decision linked to a job offer. So, nag-iisip ka pa. Kasi, ang iba dito ang napipick up ko para sa for a few people is there is a job offer abroad. And, pinag-iisipan mo pa. Pinag-iisipan mo pa if you are taking it or not. So, yun. So, importante talaga in the week ahead na makinig ka. Makinig ka sa iyong intuition. Kasi, mararamdaman mo yan. If it's right for you, mararamdaman mo yan. If there is something wrong dyan sa job offer na yan or sa lugar na pupuntahan mo, mararamdaman mo yan. B, let your intuition be your guide kasi yun ang pinaka-reliable mong uh, masasandalan sa paggawa ng decision. So, your next card is the Seven of Swords. So, yung Seven of Swords, this is the energy of the cheater, stealer, liar. So, since this is nakapuesto dito sa my knight of cups so i feel that this is linked to the energy of this knight of cups so be mindful be vigilant dito sa taong to or sa mga kaibigan mo 
or sa mga bago mong uh, makikilalang kaibigan, maging vigilant ka, maging sensitive ka, mapakiramdam kasi there may be someone na papasok sa iyong circle. It could be this night of cups na merong low vibration na low vibration person so ayon because there may be a low vibration people surrounding you in the week ahead and that could be this knight of cups so ayon si si seven of swords it could be liar mabuti makiharap sa yo pero ang dala-dala niya mga impormasyon is not the fact but they are lies so ay, ayun ma maging mapakiramdam ka sa mga manliligaw mo sa mga sa mga manliligaw sa iyo or sa mga bagong kaibigan na makikilala mo mag-ingat mag-ingat na lang cancer mag-ingat na lang hindi masyadong mabilis magtiwala kasi mahirap din naman magtiwala agad-agad sa bagong kakilala, 'di ba? So sa mga mapamulak sa mga mabulaklak magsalita. So ayun, maniniguro lang tayo dito. Lagi kang makinig sa iyong um, intuition, sa iyong gut instinct kasi mararamdaman mo 'yan in your solar plexus kung something wrong sa iyong paligid o sa mga taong kausap mo, 'di ba? Mararamdaman mo 'yan hindi hindi trustworthy ang tao ang kaharap mo you can feel it so yun importante lang na makinig ka sa yung gut instincts kung meron kang mga plano sa buhay meron kang mga sinisikretong strategy sa yung mga negosyo sa yung career kung anong mga plano mong gagawin ano yung mga goals mo in life mga mahalagang bagay yan na personal so sinasuggest ng seven of swords dito na for now keep it close to your heart muna wag mo munang isiwalat yan wag mo munang ipagkikwento lalong lalo na doon sa mga taong uh, bago mong kakilala pa lang uh, keep it close to your heart kasi hindi mo alam kung mapagkakatiwalaan yung napagkwentuhan mo para maiwasan na maagawan ka ng ng style maagawan ka ng ng strategy maagawan ka ng plano mo alam mo yon so you never know madaming mga taong makikilala tayo na hindi lahat ay parehas ng pag-iisip natin. So, it's really important to be cautious and trust and listen to your gut instincts. That's what matters. So, Cancer, that's all I have for you for the week. I hope nakatulong ang reading na ito in some way. Please hit the subscribe button and the notification bell if you are new to my channel. And if you are already part of my Star Tarot family, thank you for subscribing and thank you for supporting my channel i wish you have a blessed and wonderful day love and light